back to the Let's Play, everyone. I think it's about time we investigate this hole a little bit more. More than we have, that is. If you don't know what this is and you haven't seen the past two or three episodes, this is a major crevice in my world. Let's say that. Didn't really get a good idea what's over this way. I guess more of it's over here? Yeah, there's some. I have an old world. It's as simple as that. And right there at that level is level zero. The odd thing is, is this was, I thought was generated around when we got the new Deep Slate, where it went down to negative 60. But apparently not. I feel like it's a weird merge between the two. So in some places of my world where it reaches level zero, it just put a whole 60 levels of bedrock in that area. But here it decided to say no nope. <laughs> and put a whole 60 levels of void. We flew down there once already, and oh gosh. Oh, there's like a water bug right now where you can't see that well. Where's it at? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. It's very dangerous down here. If I drop below negative 60, as you guys know, I will die. So yes, this is the world right here. Now, what I'm planning on doing, am I going down slow enough? I want to turn up my render distance and kind of check this place out, see how far it goes. Oh, I should probably put those in my inventory. That'll help. So as you can see, in some areas, we do have some of that generated terrain. That's all. Oh, there's a lush over there. Wait, there's a torch over there. I didn't go there, did I? What? What's that, just more water? All right, here we go. I am so curious to see how far this actually goes. I wanna go where this torch is. See, this is what I mean. Did I do that? I had to. Have Oh god. Oh, oh. Butt pucker. Why am I dying? Okay, that might have been a mine shaft torch. Okay, why was I dying over there? I did not like that. What's the sound? What's going on? Wow. Okay, I didn't place that torch. It was just a mine shaft. Skeleton, I bet you have no idea where you are. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine that? Imagine exploring a mine shaft and you just see a stone wall one day and you break it. It's like, you break into this. I'm very scared that I started suffocating there for a second. Was I too close to the ceiling? I can't remember. There's a track. So, the main reason I'm down here is because I eventually actually want to try to make a base down here. As crazy as that sounds. I don't have my bed on me right now because I put all my important things away just in case I fell into the void, which is my journals, minesweeper, and brown bed. But I'm gonna to have to take these two out. Oh God, if I fall in the void, this world's over. You know what? I've had this for so long. Should I just make it a rule where if I lose this, I my character dies and I delete this world? <laughs> I actually thought about that once. I can't do that. Okay, now we can see, not really. Um, let's just go. Why was I suffocating over I think I got too close to the ceiling, right? Oh, another mine shaft. Good lord. How far does this go? I was expecting to hit a wall sooner. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. This isn't even... F this is not Minecraft. Look at this. Look what we're looking at right now. If you saw this for the first time, what I'm doing right now, what on earth would you think? <laughs> Whoa, do you see that way over there? There's diamonds right there. <laughs> What a Okay, here's the first major wall. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh my god. I can't see anything. What do you do with this? Obviously I could just leave it here, but who would do that? You can see a lot of mine shafts. I'm guessing all the carts just fell. <laughs> Oh, look at that. You can see some of the terrain, like how it's... Oh, please tell me I have some in my backpack. Don't die here, Dallas. Ugh. Please, please tell me I have some in here. Potions and dyes. Night vision! Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. Now we're gonna see what it actually looks like. Oh, my God! <gasps> Oh, whoa. 
Okay, whoa. What is that? Look at that stone right there. This, is, this stone is like trying to form with the new terrain. You know how they do that? Oh my god. Okay, I don't know why I didn't do this before. This is perfect. Look at all the... I'm taking those. That's a lot. Can you see like diamonds in the ceiling too, I wonder? Ah! Whoa. Good lord. This is just... Okay, here's old terrain right here. You can obviously tell. Wow, see how sparse diamonds were. How my light rings doing? Good. I need you to hold up for me. <gasps> Geodes. Oh, gosh. Wow, diamonds are everywhere. Well, I know where to go if I really want to get a lot of ore. So if I made a base down here, I think at the entrance, wherever I come to... Oh, goodbye, gravel. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can see all this stuff updating. I would... Oh, God. I would put down an area where I walk across a pressure plate and activate night vision potion. I think that would make most sense. God, this is just a mess over here. Uh-oh. We've got a wall here. Oh, no, I can squeeze through. Got like a trench. I wish there was a floor. I'm not going to lie. I wish the bottom was at least bedrock so I don't have to risk. Imagine that. Wow, look at all this water. Imagine if this bottom was full of bedrock like it should be. Well, not all of it, just the very bottom at negative 60. Imagine what we could do down here. Honestly, I don't even know where I am now. I just can't get my eyes off of this. I just can't stop looking. It's so big. What the heck? Hey, guys. How you doing? Oh, rest in peace. Where am I? Wouldn't mind finding my way out right about now um don't know where that is we are very lost i might as, i guess i'll just go up in a cave and dig my way out here we go all right uh, wow so what should we do here my idea tell me what you think of this is to build some sort of lab here and it's going to be a very unique lab whatever i decide to make i don't know what type it would be, something hanging from the ceiling, something with a propulsion system holding it up, whatever it may be, but whatever, whenever we walk into it, splash it with a night vision potion, have like an observatory deck where you can walk out and look at this. Something tells me that would be pretty cool. All right, well, we've had our fill with that. Let's get back to some normal Minecraft. <laughs> ah, uh, oh, it's so warm. Wow, look at that, diamonds already. I was just about to leave, and look what I found. A freaking iron vein. There's, oh, God. I've, I still want so much more iron. I don't know if I want to stay here and collect all this. It actually takes a very long time to collect it all. I'll collect some of it. I believe I found my ticket out. Surprising. It's in the ocean. Ah, whoa. Oh, I know where I am. Stop. I'm doing an experiment here. Where is this going to put me? Oh. Right here. Nothing different. We're in our normal Let's Play world. Gosh. See how smooth it is? I fixed something. See how smooth our world is now? Like, this is buttery 60 FPS. I fixed our world. It is finally fixed. Looks a little empty, though. I got rid of I got rid of everything. Yes. No. <laughs> this is a 2016 backup. 2016. Look at this. Look at the simpler times. There's nothing in here. Wow, this chest is still here. That map is still there. Oh my god, this map is still there on my wall too. House building materials still here. All these chests are out here. How different does it look? I'm sorry, I, I, have, I do this sometimes, it's just nice. What I really wanted to test though, is I updated this to the point where the new terrain is down below, so I wanna see if it changed it for under my house in this backup. Hey, I remember this update, this is when we got maps. Look how drastic they change now. Boom. 
God, I miss this so much. I can't believe I'm at that point in my world where, like, I miss these days. Shoot. That just hit me in the feels real hard there, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no way. Look at this. Ha! <laughs> wow. It completely changed it for this world. Although I haven't... Did I? Have I... Have I... I don't think I've checked into my house yet, have I? <laughs> wow, there's a cave right under my house. You know, we're just gonna start off here, guys. Um, we're just gonna go back a few episodes, as you can tell. We'll just uh, kick off from here. Hope you guys are okay with that. Dang it, I don't have a light wings. <laughs> I want it to be this smooth around my... Well, it is, because we're playing on this world now. We're not going back. I wonder how differently I would approach things if I had to start off in this world. Like, I lost all progress. I wouldn't even start on this. I would just start a new world. What am I looking for? Gold shelf is still here. This. Oh, where's my goodies? Hey, there's Minesweeper. I can tell because it has efficiency three and it's slow touch. That's crazy how old that pick is. Wow. Sword room is shorter. No, that's Minesweeper. <laughs> Wait, hold up, what? So that, it's even older. How old is Minesweeper? Oh my gosh. Huh, there it is, just chilling. Silky Spade, do I still have that? Man, I was kind of poor. Well, I wasn't, I was just getting started. I'm gonna take my time to run around this world and just take in some memories. I'll update you guys if I see something cool. See what I'm talking about? See how old this is? I built this such a long time ago. If you didn't see last episode, I was showing this. And then it goes right down. Yeah, see, here's the original four rooms that were going to be the vaults holding different things. I'm sorry, guys, if you don't like this. I am such a... I, that's my biggest weakness in life is nostalgia. Here's where the fishing hut sits. Mansion sits there. No factory, just a giant slime man statue. Now I'm going to test something. Since I updated this world to the recent... Bedrock changes. I want to go see how soon my terrain changes off in the distance. Oh, we're still in pocket edition. Oh, episode. This is episode 100. Okay, I'm glad I wrote this stuff down. But you know what I said earlier? As in, uh, what I would do different. Just like Johnny Cash said, if I started a million miles away, I would find myself again. Which means I would just literally do everything the same again. Because <laughs> that's just how much I love this world. Okay, that was a fun trip. Everything seems to be the same so far. I mean, I, I guess I wouldn't expect stuff to change this soon. Spawn is right back there. Oh, God. Never mind. Spoke too soon. What on earth? If you don't know where we are, house is way back that way. This is that old school railroad I have all the way to my mesa biome. It looks like we have some interesting mesa stuff going on right there. Wait, I'm not even keeping this world. I have a backup of this. I'm just gonna turn on creative mode. I know I shouldn't be focusing on this right now. I need to, you know, uh, go play in my Let's Play world. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, it's like a Mesa Bryce. It's crazy some of the stuff you spot. Right now you just see a normal Mesa biome. Right now I see my first death location, which is right here. I'll reenact it for you. No sprinting, just pocket edition. I wanna get over there. It looks cool. Oh no, but we have a big gap. So I back up and go, and then hit right here and die. <laughs> this is old giant Mesa generation right here. This was big back in the day and very impressive. As you can see over here, this would be pretty epic to have this close in our world, not gonna lie. Man, our world's been through so much and I loved every second of it. Last thing I'm checking, is that fire still going on? Sure is. <laughs> Good old forest fire. Before we go, before we go, I just want to give you guys some perspective. So, uh, there's where the mansion sits, and then you come over this way. Training course right here. And all this is where the new biome is. I just want you to see how many trees I actually had to cut down. This is a lot for me. <laughs> That's why I have like three double chests of that dark oak. And back home we are. Oh, it's good to be back. This was a very fun and interesting episode. I, I'm gonna do more like these more often. I don't necessarily know what that means, what I'll do, but. <laughs> From, I don't know what to make my YouTube username. Best username, by the way. So that just turned out good for you. Am I gonna die? 
What would your thoughts be on making a storage build? Your storage is okay, but you could make a better one with its own build. Trust me, I think about this all the time. Um, so our first storage build was actually in the hub of the house. Did you guys ever know this? I mentioned this in every World Tour video. Ah, uh, right here. Yeah, our first storage room ever, that's why these signs are here. Misc, mod drop, mod drops, and wood and tools. And I don't get rid of those signs because like I said, I'm a sucker for looking back on things. And then of course I switched it up here and it wasn't this big normally. And this is my current storage room. And this is the thing, like I eventually changed it. I got into this phase where I loved building underground. I think it's because I loved watching Etho at the time. I'm like, I wanna do what he does. So with my underground expansion, as many of you may know, this was the upgraded storage room and I used item frames and this, I, this actually helps a lot. Well, I don't know actually. I feel like signs are much easier to read. And I had this whole section dedicated to just wood. But I gave all this up because it was so far from the house and it was such an inconvenience to travel this far just to maybe get one item out of a chest. So, if I do decide to make a new chest room, I think it will be... It may be where the chest room is at now, but just redesigned or something. I don't know. Or you know, maybe just another part of the house because we've got all these new expansions we're making. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea, actually. Thanks for your input. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. And bye-bye.